Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring redistribution between two routing protocols. The protocols are going to be RIP version 2 and OSPF. As you can see, router 1 has loopbacks 1 through 3 in the 192.168 range. And on router 1, we're going to be running strictly RIP version 2. On router 3, we're going to also be using loopbacks 1 through 3 in the 10 network. And we're going to be running OSPF on router 3. On router 2, we're going to be doing the redistribution. We're going to be doing what's called mutual redistribution between two routing protocols. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started now. We're going to go ahead and admin up the, or we're going to start up the routers. And we're also going to set up the routing protocols. We'll start on router 1 and router 3. And then we will finish up on R2 doing the mutual redistribution. So what we're going to be seeing is how these two routing protocols interact with each other within redistribution and how proper redistribution is performed within between these two routing protocols. As you might know already, RIP version 2 find its best path from using hop count and OSPF uses a metric, a very detailed metric. It uses bandwidth plus other options to find its best path through the network. So what we're going to see in this lab is when we redistrib redistribute between these two routing protocols, we're going to have to set some values specific, specifically within, within one protocol to another called metric values. And I'll show you how to do all that later on. Let's go into router 1 and get it configured first. So we will go ahead and go under global config, give it the host name. Again, we'll go under line console 0, set the no exec timeout. Again, good command in GNS3 allows your CPU not to spike within the GNS3 program due to inactivity on the line. We'll configure the interface FA00 to 1. We're going to make router 1 the dot 1 for the 172.16.12.1 network. We're also going to go ahead and do the loopback interfaces as well, which loopback 0 is going to be 192.168.1.1. Actually, let's do a no interface loopback 0, and we will do the interface loopback 1 of IP address 192.168.1.1. 681.1 slash 24. Then we're going to go under interface loopback 2 and give it the IP address of 192.168.2.1 with the slash 30, I'm sorry, slash 24 subnet mask. And then we're going to create the loopback 3 interface 192.168.3.1 slash 24. 